Hello, everyone. Welcome to Creatively Crafty Me. I am Charlena, and today I'm going to do a little planning video for my mystery yarn challenge. Now, I received this big twist yarn, this uh, Lion Brand ice cream yarn, this Kepi yarn, which is a yarn for making a hat, this Jess yarn worsted, and then all these colors of Karen Simply Soft Yarn. Now, I have been trying to decide what I want to make with this yarn, and I have gone through several ideas. I have seen this color block scarf that someone wears all the time in their video, and I was thinking it would be really fun to use all these colors of yarn to make that scarf, but then I was like, ah, oh, no, I don't think I want that scarf. The weather is starting to get a little warmer. But what I think I really want to do, because I really love these colors of yarn and this Karen Simply Soft, is make a colorful, like, striped sweater for my youngest granddaughter. So it's just going to be a basic raglan sweater, well, a cardigan. A basic raglan cardigan and I what I would like to do is make the beginning like the shoulder parts of the, the sweater and this dark pink yarn here and then start adding like stripes of yarn and these coordinating colors and then somehow figure out how to work these yarns into that sweater as well so for now that is what I think I'm going to do I think I'm going to try to make a basic raglan cardigan sweater using all these colors because i do think that it will make a very pretty sweater so i'm going to start working that up i'll be back to show y'all different progress i make with this sweater and yeah let's just see if it actually becomes a cardigan or if somewhere throughout the process I change my mind and make something else because that's what happens with me in the mystery yarn challenge. I'll start thinking about a bunch of different projects that I could possibly make. And sometimes I physically start making those projects and then change my mind and make something else. So it started out. My first thought was a scarf. Second thought was a Easter basket, some type of Easter basket to hold like plastic filled eggs with candy in them, but I really think I'm going to settle on the sweater. So I'm going, excuse me. So I'm going to get started and let's just see what happens, how this, how this works out. So I'll be back to keep you updated. Okay. So I have been working on my sweater and here's the update. I did do the raglan part in this pretty pink, and then I was trying to decide what color I would want to use next. And I thought, being that I have all these colors to work in, what would be the next choice would be to add this big twist party yarn. So that's what I did. And I'm hoping that um, that this yarn here will help to draw in all these colors. So I'm just going to keep working. I'm trying to decide um, which way I want to add the colors. So I'm not 100% sure if I want to add this dark color here and then go down. So I'm going to sit here and play with the different patterns of colors to see what I come up with. And I'll be back to give y'all that quick update. But yeah, so I just wanted to let y'all see where I was so far. This is my project for the Mystery Yarn Challenge for March. And I'm making progress. I still don't know exactly how I'm going to include this yarn, this ice cream yarn, or this yarn into the project. But I will figure that out for right now. I'm just going to work my way through the little, I am just going to work my way through the scrap balls of yarn that I had and see how this works out.
working, um, playing with the yarns, I think the next color I'm going to add will be this, and then this yellow, and then the green, and kind of like let it work in together. And from the green, add this blue, and then and then go into this one. So we're gonna see how that work out for us. We're gonna see how that work out. So I'll be back to to give you another update on my sweater. Okay, so. I figured I would give y'all a quick update on my sweater. I have completed so much more of the sweater than I actually showed you. I see this sleeve is already done. And I did not stick to the original plan of what I was saying I was going to do. Originally, I was saying that I would just add the stripes of color straight down. But I didn't do that. I chose to take this yarn here. And kind of mix it throughout. So I did the pink, that color, that. Then I added some stripes here. And I went back into this yarn and then added more stripes. And it kind of uh, did the sleeves the same, except I added different colors to the sleeves. So right now it's turning out to be a very cute, springy, Eastery looking um, sweater. And I am really happy with the way that it's coming out. Now, this is currently all of this yarn that I have left. And as you can see, I have not done a border on the sweater at all. So I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to continue to work this sweater up. Now, I did decide to do the stripes on the sleeves, two different colors, because I thought that was... Be I did decide to do the stripes on the top of the sleeves, two different colors, because I just thought it would be cute and playful. But I put um, the same color at the bottom of this sweater because I'm kind of feeling like I may need to use quite a bit of this yarn. So I figured I would add that to the sleeves to kind of draw it all in together. I don't know. <clears throat> so I'm going to finish this sleeve and then figure out how I'm going to finish the rest of the sweater with the yarn that I have remaining. So, I don't know. I still have two balls of yarn that I have not worked into yet. That I have not figured out how I'm going to work into this sweater. But I'm still working on it. I'm hopefully going to get this done really soon. Because the, the I am hopefully going to get this done really soon. Because the deadline for the Mystery Yarn Challenge is quickly approaching. And I definitely want to be on time even if I get my project in on the last day. Sorry, Lori. <laughs> but yeah, so this is what it's looking like so far. I'll be back to show y'all the completed project when it's finally done. Okay, so I finally have my finished project. I did not continue to show the process of me getting it done, but I do want to show y'all the finished sweater. And I absolutely love it. I think it's so cute. My original plan was to just add different color stripes, but then I changed my mind because I thought if I use this variegated yarn throughout the project, then it would look a, a little more cohesive, and I think it worked out perfectly. So I added the peach, and then I went back to the variegated, then I added the blue, then the variegated and the green stripes. And I chose to add green stripes on both arms. On both arms. And I just thought it would be fun to do the arms different colors. So I added the yellow over here and the green here because I still wanted it to be cohesive. So I added the green here so that it could match the green in the bottom of the sweater. And then this like mint green neon green on this side and the green there and i added the this white string from the yarn for the hat and so this is what the final project looks like and i did add all the yarns but I'm, let me explain to you how i added the yarn so obviously you can see the karen simply soft pink here then i had the karen simply soft in this green this blue, this peach, and this green here. I had also received a skein of 
Just Yarn Worsted from Just Yarn Worsted Weight Yarn. So I added that yellow there. I received a um, skein of Lion Brand Ice Cream Yarn. And I only use the Lion Brand Ice Cream Yarn to sew on the little clips. So I attached the, the clips with the Lion Brand Ice Cream Yarn. And then I received some type of yarn that you make a hat with and I took that yarn to make the little white outline and it does go all the way around the whole sweater. So I'm so happy with how this sweater turned out. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and because I really loved the yarn I decided to work on another project as well. So I made this star blanket. I play yarn chicken and as you can see, I lost, but I'm pretty sure I have some, um, some of this just worsted yarn um, in yellow also. So I'm hoping I have a skein that I could just add this little section here and if I don't, then I'm just going to take it out. But yeah, I made this little star blanket. I figured it would be a nice little blanket for someone to use in their stroller. So as you can see, I added, I started with all the, I used up all the extra Karen Simply Soft yarn I had. Then I did the entire ice cream yarn. And then I added the yellow Jess Worsted yarn to the end. So this is a second project that I made. For the mystery yarn challenge, I really, really liked the yarns that I received. And I had so much fun working with them. So, yes, these are my projects. And I'm absolutely in love. And I hope you like them, too. Okay, so that is it. I just wanted to show you the completed projects for the mystery yarn challenge. I know this video itself is late, but I did send my project to Lori. Um because I wanted to at least get the project in on time. Okay guys, so that's it. I just wanted to show y'all my completed projects for the Mystery Yarn Challenge for March. The Mystery Yarn Challenge for April is already going on because my video is late, but I did still want to put it up. Okay guys, so that's it. Do come back, stick around, see what else I have going on, and I will talk to you in the next video. Okay, bye.